All right, how's everyone doing? I'm Rich Shalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So what I want to get into today is just basically um, going over if you're healthy or fit, uh, you may not realize the impact that you have on other people's lives. Uh, if you have children, for instance, you're impacting them. If you even have parents, siblings, friends, colleagues, and you're somebody who lives kind of just a slightly, you know, or a, a healthy lifestyle, let's put it that way. You like to work out, uh, you watch your diet a little bit, and you're just, I guess you could say you're just very respectful toward your health and your body. And I don't think a lot of people that are fit, for the most po uh, part, realize that. So I'm here to tell you, you know, really, if you are in shape, um, really also try to reach out to others that are you know, not necessarily in the shape they want to be in or not physically uh, as fit as they'd like to be, I guess is what I'm saying, because sometimes we're surrounded by a lot of people. And I get this all the time, people asking me questions about fitness. And I wasn't even a trainer, but I've been working out my entire life. And that's why I ended up putting a YouTube channel up and concentrating on one of the areas was fitness, because that's the questions I got asked the most. And if you're somebody who's getting a lot of questions asked regarding fitness, that's a great thing. I'm telling you, and you, you'd be shocked at how much you can help people. You're already actually helping them just by you being in shape or going to the gym. Again, uh, a lot of people, as you know, are out there aren't really in good shape or they have a lot of bad, I guess you could say habits regarding a lot of things that could be eating, sleeping, uh, you know, drinking, smoking, whatever the case may be. And here, I'm not here to dig on anybody. If you like smoking, God bless. A lot of my closest friends all smoke cigars. Some of my family members still smoke cigarettes. A lot of my friends like to overeat. I'm not here to judge anybody. But I do think by me kind of growing up and always working out with weights, it has had a big impact not only in my life, but my daughter's lives, uh, my, a lot of my friends' lives, uh, a lot of my family members especially. Uh, what was interesting is later down the road is when I've been working out for so many years is a lot of my younger cousins, uh, much younger now, are having babies. And they know I love fitness. So I have... All my cousins who were babies when I was actually in my 20s and 30s, because now I'm definitely middle-aged in my 50s, they're, we're all kind of working out together. We're all corresponding because they're all in their 20s, mid-20s and 30s. And I just they always talk about me working out and seeing me in a basement at my uncle's lifting weights or me just always being at a gym or when they would see me, they knew you know, I was just trying to be in the best shape possible, trying to be big, strong. And that goes for my cousins as well. They uh, A lot of them ended up going into a lot of different you know, things athletic-wise, sports, because I was kind of obsessed with sports. So my aunts and uncles knew that. And uh, I knew a lot of them. They weren't my nephews, but a lot of my younger cousins and those people, I would always love talking and going to watch them play sports, give them my input. I'm actually doing that with some of my cousins now who play soccer, the little Greeks. Uh, I have also cousins that are uh, very competitive with swimming. So I go back and forth with them regarding that and just how to build strength, endurance, because I love all those type of things. And being in shape or just trying to be in shape, it builds relationships with people that I don't think people really realize either. Uh, it also gets you like to meet other people, even on social media, people you may not see all the time, old friends, family members, or I have family members even in Italy, you know, they go back and forth, wow, you work out, how'd you do this? How do you do that? Uh, how many years you've been training? All these things, you know, you're kind of again influencing them to maybe you know, start living a certain lifestyle, maybe a healthier lifestyle. So I just thought I would do a video on that and just pay attention to that. Um, and if you're not in that great of shape, maybe start getting in better shape, you lazy piece of shit. I just, I'd call everybody that. But seriously, if you, you're on the fence and you want to start getting in better shape, no better time than the present, I always say. You don't have to rush into it. Just do, figure out what you love to do. All right, get around people that you actually kind of look up to maybe, or uh, people that are doing what you like to do that are in the type of shape you want to get into. Again, doesn't have to be extreme. I think when people start to think about physical activities or getting in shape, they think about having to lose all this weight or be in amazing shape to do all these different types of things. It's not always like that, especially if you're middle-aged. Just go out and enjoy physical activities that you like to do uh, with the people you love to do them with, right? All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. If you get a chance, check out my podcast, The Rich Talenzi Show. WTF are you talking about? I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And please pay attention. You know, become self-aware. Like I was telling you earlier, if you are somebody that is in shape, reach out, help others. I think, too, we get embarrassed a little bit because we're kind of talking about our bodies or uh, we're trying to be, maybe we're kind of bragging or any of those things. It's not like that. I'm telling you, a lot of times people want to talk to you about fitness. They're 
and you could sometimes realize they do, they're just too shy to do it, bring it up to them. And that goes for the gym as well. I get tons of people who come up to me, we talk about different things, they know I have a YouTube video, and they're the ones who give me some of my best ideas, right? It's just them talking to me and saying, Rich, I had a problem with this, or what do you think about this? You know what I mean? I'm just trying to help others, and I can assure you, you could probably help others as well, especially if you've been working out for a numerous amount of years, regardless what you're doing, all right? All right, that's all I got for you. Take care and stay safe.